This is the story of a remarkable journey. A journey full of twists and turns, shaped by friendships and centered around world citizenship. The journey starts in 2004 with a small group of bright and ambitious management students. Each subsequent year, more and more students join the Master of Arts in Strategy and International Management at the University of St. Gallen. Seventeen years later, the SIM community comprises over 900 members from some 65 countries. In 2020, the SIM is ranked number one for an unparalleled 10th consecutive time by the Financial Times Global Masters in Management Ranking. This is a story about the quest to generate value for young people with high aims, organizations of all types and size, and society at large. The world needs responsible global citizens who are both caring and daring. Caring for humanity as a whole and for the planet's finite resources and daring to create bold visions, striving to solve the pressing challenges of our time. We need global leaders that think beyond their own interests and embrace a cause larger than themselves. The SIM stands for excellence. Excellence in research, teaching, learning and managing. Excellence is however not a solitary phenomenon. For excellence to withstand challenges, it requires a particular quality, collaboration. Collaboration is the elixir that creates endurance in excellence. The SIM rests on the idea that meaningful change requires a desire to initiate, grow and sustain friendships. This is the foundation of all our efforts. Without friendship, nothing can really sustain in the long run. It improves the quality of team performance, allows for effective communication and helps to align initiatives around the United Vision. The SIM program has developed an integrative approach that provides students with an advanced knowledge of management through the lens of strategy, a strong understanding of leadership in the 21st century, a dynamic and diverse community that is in constant co-creation, a focus on personal mastery and on developing a capacity to view a challenge from different lens. For us, strategy is an integrative lens that enables us to gain a comprehensive understanding of how to make organizations perform better in fulfilling their purposes, be they business, nonprofits, or governmental organizations. The study of strategy comprises both conceptual and practical elements. First, the study of strategy is centered around theories and frameworks that enable a better understanding of organizations, industries, and society as a whole. Second, it permits the development of strategic thinking skills. By going through many cases of organizations, one develops advanced mental models that provide the basis for the craft of strategy. A strategist's ability to envision and develop effective strategies in different real-life situations. Finally, in order to successfully put the strategies into practice, a strategist needs leadership skills to engage the organization in adaptive strategy implementation. My strategy has traditionally meant how to win. Today's strategies are much more about creating sustainable value to different stakeholders. Therefore, we see that many of the complex societal grand challenges would benefit from the integrative strategic thinking and leadership skills of the graduates of the same. So thinking back on this year, I think the most valuable insight that I had studying strategy and international management is that by being able to understand and appreciate different perspectives from our studies, we can better navigate not only business issues, but all the challenges in our life really, all by encompassing a broader range of perspectives. Mm -hmm, exactly, and I think the increased cultural awareness allows us to be more adaptable and flexible and work in a wide range of environments. And this really helps us to perform well in international settings and deal with uncertainty very well. Yeah, exactly. 
The qualities of responsible leadership are developed when compassionate and empathetic individuals are working in teams across different cultures, languages, and borders. The SIM believes that these attitudes and skills can be developed. This is why the Simagination Challenge is a central component of the program. The SIM contributes to solving global challenges through Simagination Challenge, an essential curricular pillar of the program. In this course, students plan, implement and reflect on development initiatives that aim to leave a positive and sustainable impact on society and the environment. This Imagination Challenge rests on the idea of leadership as an attitude of service. Students use their imagination to come up with bold visions and determined collaborative efforts to address pressing challenges of our time. Students are confronted with practical challenges beyond their comfort zones and derive life-shaping insights from these experiences. During this process, they hone their human qualities and skills that help them to realize their potential as responsible and effective leaders. So what piece of advice would you give to a student who is currently completely in this imagination challenge? What I can tell you is that it is not that often that you get the chance to put so much focus, attention and time into such a meaningful project. So my advice would be to really enjoy it and live it to the fullest. And what impact has this imagination challenge had on your career? This imagination challenge is always a good reminder to be humble, to stay down to earth and to give back. And those are, in my opinion, very important leadership skills nowadays. Apart from that, it is a great example of how much a small group of people can achieve in a short time if they go after a common goal with loads of passion and energy. And what skills and attitudes developed during this Imagination Challenge have been quite useful in your professional but also personal life? Loads. <laughs> if I have to choose the top three, that would be managing and resolving conflicts, leadership at many levels, leadership of a team, of a project, of a vision, and learning how to cope with change. Human connections are the central part of business. This is why the SIM program puts a strong emphasis on fostering its tight-knit, diverse and dynamic community. In May 2019, over 135 community members gathered in St. Gallen to celebrate the 15th anniversary of the program. The community is one of the biggest assets the SIM has to offer. It starts with your classmates, people from a variety of background, of diverse interests and skills, then the SIM team, the highly engaged faculty and the SIM alumni around the world. The program and the people involved have allowed me to develop personally, professionally and to build lifelong friendships. Throughout my journey, the SIM community has been a very strong support system for me. And now, as an alumnus, I enjoy connecting with the younger SIM generations and help enable them live up to their full potential. I feel that my SIM background is helping me unlock but also multiply the impact I can have in my organization, especially as a young professional. In fact, I'm an international auditor in a Swiss multinational and my role is to challenge the status quo. At SIM, we have learned to ask the key questions to senior management and to offer fresh perspective on complex matters. On top of that, I need to provide assurance on sustainability as a rising risk and this is central to, to SIM. And then I would say that as an international team leader, every day I feel that through SIM I have developed my cultural awareness but also my leadership skills. My SIM journey and the community have shaped who I am today. SIM really instilled an enduring optimism and positivity in me. This lets me look into the future with bright confidence. SIM also helped me build a strong foundation of purpose and values that I can always come back to. The lifelong friendships with older SIMIs and the amazing people 
I keep getting to know from newer generations continue to shape me as a person. Together, we keep the sim spirit alive. In the future, management education will be more social, less individualistic, less I-driven, more we-driven. Collective learning efforts towards a shared purpose will become more significant. This means that individual achievement will be embedded in an interdependent learning environment instead of being decoupled, isolated activities. The SIM will continue to contribute to management education by aligning its vision to the needs of society and our planet. It will do so by constantly innovating and staying at the forefront as a global hotspot for impactful and meaningful management education, welcoming, caring, mindful and courageous leaders of tomorrow in our midst.